Just wanted to start off by saying thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel, uh, and, I, and I sincerely mean that because when you first start doing this, it's it is really not easy when you have no subscribers and no views. And I got 500 subscribers in a month, so I was really surprised and shocked. So I just want to say thank you for everyone that did subscribe, and that really helps me motivate to uh, make more of these videos. So, anyways, we're going to get into Philippines House Build Number Three. Uh, I possibly will have to do a video after that on redoing my kitchen because it was raining out yesterday and my wife got her first drone so she couldn't wait to take it outside and we'll just leave it at that. So anyways, we'll um, <clears throat> change the topic now and get more into the Philippines, not the helicopter crashing that took place in the house. So one of the things that we're going to get into today is the patio and porch that we built off of the house like I said in the last video we were actually going to do a, a smaller porch off of the bedroom which is why you see the framing and we do have a small one there now um, but after I looked at the view and you know I wanted to build a little gym over there anyways I was it just made more sense to, to build a patio and and go with that and then when we actually started the construction um, the foreman recommended that we actually just put a second floor on it um, it wasn't going to be a big price difference because cement and rebar were cheaper than buying the roofing material so and the labor over here is you know it's not bad so what i calculated that we were going to end up spending on it i mean it was worth it so i mean now we have a 16 y by 38 long um, second floor patio with a you know really nice view and we can see the house because it's you know it's connected right to it um, and then underneath we have a little sitting area and part of it and then the second half or most of it I set up as a, a gym in my guy kind of area. So really happy with that. Um, and again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, definitely just put them in the comments. If you look, I've responded to, I believe, every person that has, that has asked me anything. Um, and I'll definitely keep getting back to everyone. So you know, I appreciate the comments anyways, because it, it makes me want to answer the questions and actually keep doing this. So thank you for that. Okay, so a lot of this is built very similar to the house. So when you look at this first photo, they're doing the same thing. So they're framing this out and they're using strings and again, water to level everything going across. And again when i first saw the house going up that way i was i was shocked and confused i'm not a contractor per se but we do a lot of building inspections and i carry a, a laser tape measure and i go in there and I, I measure every room in my house and it's perfectly square and it's perfectly flat so they really did a good job so here they are digging this out and measuring it <clears throat> Now you have basically just the, the wood framing, of course, because they're getting ready to pour all the columns in the post. So <clears throat> again, excuse me, they're doing the ground very similar to how we do the house. So they're digging out and you can see how far they are into the ground. They dig out quite a bit, going around every part of it and then connecting them to each other. And then, of course, you see how they're starting to throw all the boulders and rocks in there and then pack them all down. So then after they do that, they can then lay the rebar down, make sure again everything is flat and level, and then start pouring the cement all at the same time. So here you're going to see where it's cut out going to the left. We actually have a garage over there now. Um, and then the post that is laying on the floor because they're putting it all together before they stand it up. So if anyone sees the gate in the background, if you're interested in seeing uh, how we did the gates and the, the window frames and the wall, let me know. I mean, I wasn't going to do a video on it, but I can. So here's one of the post hose that's in the ground, as you can see. And that is one of the structures all put together. So again, we went with 10 millimeter and 16 millimeter. So. I mean, I'm happy that we went with that. It's a, it's a little bit more money when you step up your your metal size, of course. The, the thicker the gauge, the more it costs. But I feel really good about it. So I can tell you this place was built better than the local school or police department. And the foreman worked on both of those and he helped build them. So he, he assured me this place is, is much stronger and sturdier than both of them. So 
I mean, you can see just how they're putting them together, looking at them like this, and it's already strong, and it's, there's no cement yet. So now, of course, because we're building this in the Philippines, we have two things. We have a lot of rebar, and when I say that, we would order by the truckloads, and they come in 20-foot sections. And, of course, a lot of cement, because everything's in cement for the most part. So now you see to the right over there how the frame is all going up because now the all the ground in the post is about to get poured or I'm sorry all the walls have been poured and leveled out. Now if you look you're going to see the cross beam up top going from one end to the other. Now the reason they're doing that is because you see the rebar sticking up to the left and the right. So they're connecting every one of the beams all the way down and then connecting them to each other, welding all the rebar together. And then if you see how there's wood on all four sides, they're going to pour all the cement at once. So it's very strong and very well done. So here they are where it looks a little ugly, of course, <laughs> but um, they're building all, all of it out of wood so they can encase the cement with the rebar and everything still is level and measured perfectly. So here they are actually working on the left side of it because we have stairs and we didn't want to take up a lot of room for the stairs or, or lose room on the patio, I should say. So the stairs were actually built off of the side of the patio. That's a goat because it's the Philippines, so you can't go anywhere without a goat. Um, so here you go. I'll make sure to zoom up on this. You see all the rebar. Now the post is right there in the middle, and then you can see the beam that's going across. So what they did is the, the rebar goes out and goes out and bends and wraps together. So it goes right into the frame, and then all of that gets wrapped with metal. Okay. And then they're going to pour all the cement at the same time. So that square sticking off of the porch is just as strong as the porch because all the metal goes right through it and the cement is poured at the same time. And then what they're going to work on next is connecting the stairs to this so they can pour all of it at once. So you can see right now how good of a quality job they do with the construction and how strong it is um, because that's a lot of metal. So that right there is already built very well and you can see how all they're doing is casing that all in with the rebar still coming up over there that hasn't gotten cement yet okay so all of this is going to get encased at the same time so it can get done at once here it is again i will make sure to zoom up there on the right so you can get a better idea of you know the thickness of the rebar and how how much there is but you can see just by the picture the amount of steel that goes from one end of this to the other and then they cross each other so okay so you can see there to the right at how thick the rebar is and exactly how much steel is involved with going into this i mean you can see it going down the entire the length of it and then it goes from one post all the way over to the other so all the cross beams are built into each one of the post and again they haven't poured the cement down those yet either so all of these are connected together as one metal frame and then it's poured and encased with cement so i will try to i'll zoom up on that so you can get a better idea of how much is there and and get a better idea on the detail and there's four columns or four posts on each side i should say so there's three sections so it's 16 feet wide and each one of those sections is 12 feet so then the total gym is 36 feet. I think I said 38 before, but it's 36 feet. So that's a little bit closer of a picture, but I'll still make sure to, to zoom up so you can see the amount of metal. But you can see in the corner there how much metal is popping out and how each one of these cross beams goes into it. So once it all gets poured with cement at the same time, great. Love it. Okay, so <clears throat> apparently I have this photo twice, so I'll fix that. Okay, so now what you see, which looks a little weird, I was confused what they were doing here, to tell you the truth, when it started. I was standing there wondering, but they do a great job. So 
point is they're laying all this down and making sure that the floor is 100% level and it's square. So they're actually building a wooden floor right now. As you can see, they're framing it all in. And again, they haven't poured the cement yet. It all gets poured at the same time. So here we have the floor almost done. And again, you can see how much rebar is involved with this. Now, this picture, which is a little ugly outside of the puppies, of course. I hope you like puppies. Everyone does. So you see the stairs. They're all built out of rebar as well. You can see by the photo at the bottom. And now they're encased by the wood, just like we did in the house. So when the cement gets poured, it fills up the whole thing and you can see the amount of metal that's involved and it's all built at the same time. So it's gonna end up being very strong and very well done and, and it's not going anywhere with that amount of metal. I would be comfortable walking on that. Well, it wouldn't be comfortable to walk on, but I would feel safe with the amount of metal that is there before they even pour the cement. So another puppy. Okay, so now we're looking at the uh, bottom of the stair so they're starting to get that into place so they can pour this all at the same time so nothing impressive to look at um just about wrapping up the floor so they can get going on it here it is again all right i'm going to skip through this so here's the first two layers so now you can tell the amount of rebar and metal that goes into building this so again i know you've already seen this but all the metal goes across because those rebars come in 20 foot sections and it's 16 by 12. So every one of them has the rebar going the whole way and either going straight through or it gets bent down depending. Now there's two layers because every couple inches, they're not far apart. I mean, you can tell gets laid across and then also gets laid across this way so they can do all the cement at the same time. So this is the first layer again and you can see how they tie with metal every single one of these together with each other and how much metal is going across this floor so obviously if this was the only thing you were doing and you weren't pouring cement it, it's gonna go like this a, a little bit but i mean it, it's not gonna break that's for sure now second layer goes on or third and fourth layer i should say so now there's four layers of rebar or metal going across so you can see the amount of steel that they put into this, which is crazy. And they were very smart. So luckily I asked them to make sure we had light switches and, and lights in place at the time. I was not interested in running extension cords. So those that's just plastic tubing. And then they already ran the wire and, and so on. So now you can see how much cement they're pouring up there. And they have to bring up each one of those buckets one at a time. So on the days where we did stuff like this, we ended up having to have like eight guys because you got to run up and down a, a ladder with one gallon of cement at a time. So they're at the bottom using the cement mixer, of course, but either way, there's no quick way to get cement on the second floor in the Philippines. It's just hard labor. So now you're going to see all the columns and post that are poured into place. Obviously not the, the prettiest picture, but you can tell it's built like a fortress. I mean, it's it's like a castle. So there it is. Now that the floor is is poured, sorry, um, and you can see the amount of rebar again that's sticking up each out of each one of these posts. And then we weren't quite sure what we were going to do, so we ended up doing a small wall that's two blocks high, and then later on we end up doing a, a railing that goes on from there. So. You can see the ground because the ground was poured at the same time and the roof that's me and lorraine anyways um all right so there i am standing in front of it and this was great to see because they were starting to smoothen it all out because again when you're going from building a house in in blocks when you first put it together it's not pretty to look at but it comes together great when they start to actually finish it off and smooth it out. And then once the primary com gets onto it, I mean, it really starts to look like something nice. So we got a couple of mango trees over there. I'm really happy about, um, that's the stairs going up to it after they poured it. And you can tell again how they're, uh, smoothing all that out. So now you can see they get the first coat of 
primer on and that's actually with all the posts into place as well so I'm gonna get into in another picture on them doing that um, my wife picked the tile that's fine it, it looks good so what they did is when this meadow comes in all of it's covered with oil so they wash it all off then they sand it and then the first thing they do is prime it so after they prime it then they can cut it put it into place they can weld it and then they'll paint it all of course and they end up putting putty over a lot of the jams um, to make the welding look cleaner or so you don't see that it was welded uh, in he here in the u.s it would be very similar to fixing a dent on a car and then and then using a filler um, and that's how it looks before any of this was painted of course so so here's all the metal that came in for the uh, railings and this is them how they were actually welding them into place so they ended up having these notches set out for each one of these uh, not square tubing rectangular tubing going across from one side to the other before they poured and then they just left around it so then they could weld it right to the rebar inside and then fill all these in with cement so this railing is 10 times stronger than it needs to be i mean it could really just be you know one piece of metal and one bar going down across but this is great and it looks a lot better of course but either way it's a lot stronger than it needs to be so here they are with the not the primer but this is the one of the first coating that they put onto it before they paint it and now you can see how the inside now that it's starting to get smooth how it looks and you can look at the beam you can look at the bottom of the stairs over there to the left and the flooring it's built like a castle and i mean that i'm very happy with the quality of this porch we brought 20 people up there and started jumping around and i mean it's not going to move of course so it's all right i mean look at that i love it so that's the inside of it before it even got painted just by putting all the primer on it it already started to look amazing and the whole course of doing this it didn't take that long so i mean when you think about it they have to lay it all out and frame it which takes the most amount of time and then they're bending the rebar in the matter of days and then of course you got to pour all the cement leave it there then you got to take everything apart um and then you can start with uh, smoothing it out and, and painting it so there's how it looks once the inside starts to get paint on it and that is it we ended up repainting that again uh, but anyways that's how it looked after the railings were getting the paint on it with the stairs having a real coating so all this matches the house which is why i put this in this video in before i continue with the house because this all got painted at the same time so everything matches and it looks good and and so on so that's a great view you can see my house right over there to the left and then you can't really see anything in that direction of the house so there's the railings going around they're welded and painted that's a mango tree and again it's it's 36 feet long okay 16 feet wide and 10 millimeter and 16 millimeter rebar and if you're mixing your own cement on site and you're not just paying a flat fee for the house you can mix the cement so it's a lot stronger than you would normally see otherwise if you're just buying a house that you're getting built which is fine i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that the cement mixture they're going to use is, is has like a third of the strength and they use smaller rebar which is okay but if you get a small earthquake you you know you get a typhoon you get a storm you get high winds um I want to know that me and my family are safe and I'm not investing into this property and and then something's happening so happens to it so I'm glad that I spent a little extra doing it this way and then it's it's so solid when I'm done so I'll get into the walkway that we started to do later on but that's obviously you know the driveway comes in um, but you can see the stairs and how the walls this is after they've been painted of course we're still working there so the stairs are filthy the walls are you know have dirt on them because we're still under construction where there's tools everywhere and people working so you're going to see the tile actually that's right there that actually goes in the lower part of the patio just on the front section 
So that front 12 by 16, we're going to put like two or three couches, uh, not couches, but outdoor, outdoor furniture and a little sitting table to have coffee in the shade and stuff like that. And then we would have larger get togethers and um, cookouts, but they don't call it a cookout, but fiestas, we would have those up on the porch area or honestly just go up there with lights and, and have dinner. I'll be happy with that. So again, you're looking at the uh, top of it now that it's been all painted and the railings are done. It's starting to, you know, really come together here. So this is the picture where I'm looking at the front of it. I think it's obvious at this point. And this is the side of the house, how it's looking now. This was taken a little while ago, so a couple things have changed. Um, but you can see yeah, again how reflective the glass is. You can't see into the living room to the right. Everything in that square is actually the bedroom and you can't see in. So if you're looking at the red bars, those end up getting painted. So we had security doors put on. So you can't see them from the outside of the house because when you look at the reflective glass, you don't see those. But those fold in and out in two sections and then they get locked up and they slide into the ground. So as far as people ask me about security, um, you're not breaking into that. <laughs> um, and we have that for all the windows as well. So a lot of people do go with putting the security bars on the outside of the house. And that's okay. I mean, it's a personal preference. It's not safer one way or the other. Security bars are security bars. I chose to do them on the inside because from the outside of the house, you can't see them now. So unless someone walks right up to the window, then they're going to say, oh, I'm not going to waste my time. But I don't have to look at them and no one else has to look at them because the outside of the house always looks pretty nice. And we prefer that. And then the bars are just on the inside. But either way, you have to look at the bars if you're going to get bars. So I would assume you would have bars if you're building a house over there because everyone does. It's very common. But again, we chose to just put them on the inside of the house because we're going to look at them either way. So personal preference. I know someone's going to comment, but that's fine. And here we are looking at the, uh, the house, the way it sits. So uh, uh, thing, more things have been done since then. Again, we have a, a longer patio that goes around and ends up going down and, and into the door of the house. Um, and then, you know, into the gym and the patio area, the bottom of the patio has been tiled and well, the bottom one quarter of it or a third of it has been tiled where our sitting area would be. The other part would be the gym. I'm not going to tile the gym, of course. So anyways, uh, everyone, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And again, for everyone that's subscribed or subscribing now, thank you. And I mean that because it makes me really want to do these things. When you first start recording and making videos and you have no subscribers and you have no views, it, it's hard to be motivated to create more content because no one's looking at it or you have seven subscribers and you're like, Oh, I'm going to spend four hours doing something. And you know, four people are going to watch it or something. So when I end up getting 10,000 views, it's, it's awesome. So thank you. And I'll have another video out here very shortly. Thank you.